Welcome back to Average Mike, and today we continue with our kitchen remodel and getting our island squared away for countertops. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just another Average Mike, and like I said, we we're going to tackle this island. I'll show you a couple things we need to do. Uh, in order to get this ready for countertops and what we're going to do in this video. The ultimate goal here for this island uh, is to get it completely ready so that they can throw the countertops on. Uh, one thing that we have to do is I want to line this edge of the uh, island up with the wall. <clears throat> and that way we, we still need a couple more inches over here Need a little more room for this oven. Not, not that much, but it would be nice to squeeze a couple more inches out of there. And then, obviously, uh, once this is pushed back and this is addressed, um, we'll have enough room for that. The other thing we need to do for this trash mesh, right now I just have it temporarily plugged in here. Uh, if you can see back in here, we have to move, actually I can move this whole thing. We have to move this wire um, get it moved over so it comes up into the cabinet and then I will uh, put a outlet somewhere along here so that way we can plug in the uh, trash master on the wall here so we can get the outlet on the side here and then we can you know once the trash master is in we can have somewhere to plug it in if we ever want to swap this out for a new model or the brakes or something like that it'll be easy to do the other thing we need to do is build out uh, a frame for this trash master so that we can one have the countertop go over top and then also uh, i have a dishwasher and panel that goes along the side here and it'll give that something to uh, nail to. Ultimately this has to be super strong but also really small so we're going to use one by twos uh, because as you can see there's very limited space between the top of the current countertop and here and also uh, in the back as well when we line it up there's very little space to run along the back here so we gotta do our best to keep it strong and sturdy so that it can hold the countertop and also you know if somebody runs into it something like that you want to make sure it's super strong and but also as low profile as possible first thing we're going to do is cut around the since we're replacing this floor this floor is eventually going to come up i want to get it out from underneath the island so we do have a seam right here, so I'm gonna cut from there around, around and pull it out from underneath. And then we will, we're gonna place the island where we want, and then we'll start looking at uh, building uh, this frame on the side. guys as you can see that outlet there is and it's just sitting there now because I'm gonna actually add outlets to the back here and I don't have the tools not the tools I don't have the stuff to do it so uh, what I did here 
was mount uh, two by fours that these cabinets can now mount to underneath. So I'll bring those cabinets up and around and we can push this bottom board up against here and then mount those cabinets. Uh, and then we will have to go ahead and screw these two cabinets together. And then this will be pretty much complete as far as mounted. And then we can work on sliding that where it belongs. And Okay, so everything is now mounted and we screwed those two cabinets together. Now it's time to work on this area here. So um, the problem with putting the plug where it is, uh, once we slide this in, I uh, can get closer than that, but <clears throat> I have a gap because uh, that plug sticks out a little bit. So uh, I do have some spacers that I cut I ripped it down to one inch on my table saw. We're gonna put that right in there. That way it goes up flush with the trash compactor. And then we can start, after that, we can start doing our measurements, how close we're gonna be to here, so. In order to build this out, have this panel, what I decided to do was take these one by, uh, one by two pieces, build a picture frame looking uh, wall here, one over here, and then we'll have a couple, or we'll have a piece on the top, piece on the top that connects everything together. And then um, we're going to put another piece in the front to kind of keep everything sturdy. guys it is the next day here and we are back at it this kitchen remodel um i do want to start off right now with adding these uh, pieces of filler plates that i ripped down to one inch and i'll show you real quick the reasoning for that they're good these are gonna go right into this corner and the reason for that is basically everything down here is about one inch off from the top. So um, if you get to the stove and the microwave here, um, this stove is actually one inch too far, um, too far towards the sink here. Um, and the same goes, and it all has to do with these windows, right? So the same goes with this side over here, even though they're not, <clears throat> um, there's no stove or microwave here to really point it out uh, towards the end here you definitely there is a one inch uh, gap so so what we're gonna do as I mentioned before in a previous video when we put these cabinets in these are not mounted in yet and what we're gonna do is move this cabinet out of the way move the oven out and out of the way we'll slide this down one inch shove this piece in and we'll screw it together on both sides and that should take care of that and then we'll move over here, same same deal, slide everything down one inch, and then we'll put this in. And this ultimately is to um, get, or this ultimately is to allow the countertop people to create their template. I need to make sure that these are, even though they're not mounted completely, it will be in the positions that they will need 
uh, to measure out the counters. And same with the island, which we're going to be finishing up here shortly once I finish. There's a little after shot of what how it looks like. Uh, I decided to because of the way the angle of this cabinet, I'm not going to screw this cabinet into this filler piece until I have the countertops off. Uh, the day before they come to actually install the countertops, uh, I'm going to take this counter completely off, go ahead and fasten these cabinets to the wall, and then uh, and then we can address this uh, corner piece. It'll be easier to get from the top. So. For now, I'm going to leave it out how it is and and uh, we'll address it later. So I'm going to go ahead and push everything back to how it was and um, and then we'll get working on the island. Okay, job complete as you can see. Here's where our one inch gap is. Everything has shifted over and it seems to line up with the microwave a little bit better. So um, you can also see here where the backsplash used to be. It's not there anymore. Uh, same goes over here. Uh, this is all complete. And it's in there for now. I'll give the granite guys good measurements. And then, like I said, we'll pull everything off and mount everything once uh, the day before the granite people come. So, all right, let's get worked on the island. All right, so that brings us back to the island here, what we need to finish. So I need to shore up this uh, cabinet here. First thing first is I'm going to mount a piece of one by here so that I can mount this piece to that. Uh, that should square up uh, this top half here. We will double check that obviously. But then I need to mount, I have a couple L brackets here to mount uh, the, to the bottom of the floor as well as a couple for here. This way, this will be nice, solid, secure to the ground. It'll be secure to the top here. And then once we put our finished piece on the side here, it should really sturdy everything up. And then on top of all that, the granite countertop would come over and lay on that piece and we should be 100% uh, sturdy. So we'll see how it all turns out once I'm done securing everything. We gotta add a little bit more uh, pieces to make sure it doesn't move around, we'll do that. So let's get to work on that. And yeah, I'll do this piece. Make sure this is level, and then we'll square it up. Okay, so as you saw, we got this board secured onto the frame. I did mount one mount. I'm gonna add another one over there once uh, once I get this side square. I think I do have a square I'm gonna use to see if uh, this gets becomes square so I can mount the bottom and I can mount the top here. And then we should be secure. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is mount the bottom first and I'll, I'll use the square, measure it, and then I'll, I'll use the square to square it up and then I'll uh, measure here as well as in the back just to make sure that everything lines up perfectly and then we'll mount 
the bottom and we'll do the same and then mount the top. All right, so this is mounted pretty sturdy. I'm happy with that. It's not moving anywhere. We're all square and measured three times. Everything's good. So next step, now that I mounted all the bottom pieces, I want to add the wire that was missing that needs to run up for the outlets on the back wall. So I got to pull this out, run the wire down to it, uh, terminate it there, and then I can secure that com uh, completely and then put the faceplate on and then we'll have the wire available to us when we go to put the other outlets in. Looks like we are complete here. We have the trash compactor put back inside. Everything looks to line up pretty well. And that's it. All right guys, that'll be it for today's video. The island is now complete enough for the granite people to come in and do their measurements. So that was the goal uh, for the last couple days. Uh, I do still have to obviously put the back panel on put the new outlets in on that back panel. Uh, I have molding that, go all, all, that goes all the way around. Uh, big, tall base molding, make it kind of look like a, a piece of furniture instead of cabinets is what they said when I purchased it. So I do have flooring that we picked up the other day. We went with a vinyl, uh, vinyl plank flooring. Uh, looks really good. Uh, the wife liked it. So we're gonna, that will probably be the next video coming up. Uh, I plan on doing that uh, next couple days. So uh, if you liked the video today, please give it a like. If you can't wait to see the next video when I lay down that vinyl flooring or one of my other projects, hit that post notifications button after you hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really helps me out. Hopefully when I get big enough that uh, I'll benefit from that and hopefully you guys will benefit from that as well. Uh, that'll help me bring better content once we also we did hit 270 subscribers as of today uh, once we hit 300 we're going to be giving away another t-shirt so another reason to make sure you subscribe you like and if you have a comment please comment below all right until then i will see you guys next time later